Welcome to this week's episode of Humans in Five. This week we're continuing our series of New Orleans themed episodes. There are just too many attractions in New Orleans to count. However, just down the road from our accommodations, there's the Oldubo Insectarium. You can go and learn about all manner of insects, arachnids, and arthropods at the Insectarium. In our day-to-day -day lives, we don't tend to think of insects all that often. If we do at all, it's usually followed by a quick swat, since we usually view them as tiny, biting pests. However, a few years ago, the U United Nations pleaded for everyone to start thinking about insects differently. They suggested that we start to think of them less as pests, but more as food? That's right. The UN's Food and Agriculture Organization have suggested that eating insects may be the way forward to save our planet in the future. Today, the food and agricultural industries face two major problems that insects might be able to solve. A lot of people around the world today still have trouble accessing high-quality foods on a regular basis. Food scarcities and food insecurities affect millions of people around the world. And whether or not we like to admit it, insects are a great source of nutrition. They're high in protein, fat, and mineral nutrients. For example, with the weight held equal, a caterpillar has the same protein content as minced beef, and yet the caterpillar wins the nutritional sweepstakes with over 11 times as much iron. Another problem with food and agriculture is that crops and livestock are expensive to cultivate. Insects, including worms, beetles, and so many other varieties, are inexpensive to cultivate. They reproduce very quickly, making it easier for vulnerable groups to get their hands on some high-quality nutrition. Aside from nutrition, pollution and climate change are other key reasons that insects might be the next step forward in agriculture. The number of trees and forests that are clear-cut to make way for ranches and grazing grounds is staggering. Cows are actually part of the problem themselves, as their flatulence is actually a huge contributor to greenhouse gas emissions. Insects also reduce pollution and our use of natural environments as they're extremely efficient creatures to feed. Sure, they're small and eat less overall, but they convert food into edible nutrition way more effectively. For example, crickets need 12 times less feed than cattle to produce the same amount of protein. Now, the problem with the UN's proposal that we all give bugs a try is that people find the idea disgusting. Think of all those reality TV shows where eating insects is considered a punishment. But lots of people in cultures around the world already eat insects as part of their regular diet. According to the UN, over 2 billion people already supplement their diets with insects. In the Western world, we're reluctant to give them a try as it's not really a part of our history. The biggest hurdle is giving those bugs a try. So the next time you have the opportunity, give it a whirl. And if insects really aren't for you, it's less about eating more bugs, but about reducing your footprint with less meat consumption and less waste. Thanks for watching our buggy episode, and we'll see you next time on Humans in 5. See you then!